people are telling you position yourself right the right person will come position yourself right connection is there position yourself right position yourself is that what ticking goes <laughs>
Is that what makes this person worse than this person? Like, every relationship, you, what are your goals? What are your long-term goals? What are your short-term goals? You ask the person, yeah. Marriage, relationship, normal friendship, you got to. What are, what are we here for? Is it just to sit down and just laugh? Gossip about somebody? Like, what is the essence of this relationship? Why am I with this person? What does this person bring out in me? Does the person refine this goal? So, I'm like, I just came to the conclusion we are all gold diggers. Yeah. We are all gold diggers. We are digging gold in one way or the other. At this point, I don't care what the dictionary has said. We are all digging gold. Imagine now. You have a friend that doesn't have money. Let's say the person knows something. In fact, I'm going too far. We all know that person in our school when we're in uni, for those that are done with uni, those that are in uni. We all know that person that knows book, but does not have money. Then you! <laughs> oh, we know that rich guy, that rich girl, that has money, but does not know book. But the two of them are friends. Together, together, forever. They waka, waka, waka. What is the essence of that relationship? You answer. Drop it in the comment section. Tell me. What is the essence of that relationship? Why are they together? What is one giving to the other? I know when I was in school, there were people that did not have money, but were friends with people that had money. They were not begging. They were not begging the other for money, but <laughs> they know that that relationship cannot break. Yes. <laughs> if anything want to scatter, not my relationship with you. <laughs> All I can foresee, but not you. Yeah. You can say, okay, maybe because that person is not going to the relationship solely because of the money. Like, who is the judge of that? <laughs> who can tell me why you entered the relationship? And who can tell me why you did not enter the relationship? All we know and all we are seeing is that this one has, this person does not have. But you people are tight. You are wearing designers. The person is wearing shoe and dropping for you. The person will wear the shoe today. Will not agree to wear the shoe tomorrow. Next thing will sit on your leg. That's all we know. And you are telling me, <laughs> I had a gold digger. <laughs> a gold digger is someone else. <laughs> that babe that is looking for that man's money. Want to chop that man's money. Want to do this. That is the gold digger, but me, <laughs> I ain't a gold digger. Like, what's the, like, whew. so at the end of the day, this is me thinking out loud. Everyone digs gold in one way or the other. Now, look at that girl whose parents don't have. Now, I'm trying to bring it down to um, where the dictionary or the Google that I googled said purely to extract, to extract money. That's what they have said now. So let me use this example. So you have a girl. This is from a not, a home that is not doing well. Parents don't have. And you have that girl. Let me use the general example that you see everywhere. You have another. That everybody, the whole line, the whole line of six to seven children, four children, that looking up onto the other as their savior because we don't have. You get? So now, if this girl is looking for in her partner financial security more than emotional security, does that make her a bad person? Does that make her a bad person? Okay, she she normally she 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 doesn't have money, but she will try her best to look nice. If it is designers, the guys, 
the the people the the category of people that she's looking for if it is designers that they like wearing she puts some designers to attract the guy that will look at her in that because her on her normal attire you may not look at her with her pedigree you may not look at her but she's trying to attract the thing she's looking for does that make her a bad person since i'm a christian what I want to say, the question I want to ask now, that I want people with senior me, my seniors, to write or leave in the comment section. Go diggy. Is this scripture? That, like, I'm not telling you not to go and say the scriptures for go diggy. I'm, I'm just saying like the attitude. Is it something that you, you could have seen in the, in the scriptures? In time past, like, with the older generation, you see most of our parents then, or the parents of our parents, being in arranged marriages. Why? Because their parents were like, okay, this guy either is going to maintain the pedigree that we have, or he's going to bring a higher pedigree for us. So you see them arranging the marriages for them. Now, talking about arranged marriages is not the reason for this video. So, I, that's not what I'm talking about. Neither am I talking about love growing in such marriages in this video. I'm not talking about love in arranged marriages. But I'm trying to say, their parents looking for better for their children. Does that make it bad? Because that is gold digging. I arranged my picking for you. It must be that your own home because you have and shook her inside because of what i will get in return i'll get name i'll get money i'll get fame for some that's gold ticket we dig for gold in one way or the other even because i was telling my my mates i'm married into a family of okay my husband has two brothers yes my husband has two brothers so one of the wives yeah i was telling her that even where you say, oh, no, I'm marrying him for love. I'm marrying him for love. I'm marrying him. And um, he does not have now, but he has potential. He has potentials in the future. What are you looking for? Is the goal that you saw inside of him that is making you enter that relationship? Because you know everybody that I love used to work for, and there's a... Love does not... I don't know how to put this thing. That will not be controversial, but... It gets to a point where love is not enough. So it's the things that you have built around the relationship that helps hold your relationship. I don't know if you get it. That is the best way I want to put it. But what I'm trying to say there is, it gets to a point where it's not about the love, but the goal that you found, that potential you think you saw in your partner is the reason why you're entering that relationship. See, the person doesn't have potential. You want to enter. No truthful person. When I said people that I love are blind guys, they will not enter and start having resentment. So this video is becoming longer than what I thought it would be, so I'm going to try to round it up now. What I want to say now is, what I feel is bad about gold digging is someone who digs, like the dictionary said, someone who digs purely for the money. You don't have any other intentions. Because money alone cannot keep a marriage. People that are married for long know that. People that just got married yesterday, they also know it. Money, no matter how much all of us that are looking for money in this life are looking for the money, we know that money cannot keep a marriage. So, when the money goes, when the money is not there, when the money is, the money we are searching, we thought we needed, is not enough any longer what now holds that relationship so on a funny note if your baby is there because of the money she also loves you be happy she saw something in you she's digging gold same way because you liked her you not everybody's marrying it in fact even those that say that i'm not marrying her to come and cook for me they're marrying her for companionship some people are marrying for children different things even where your own is not money has 
entering was money. But there's love. My dear, grab the babe like that. Grab the babe like that. The essence of this video is to tell us that before you throw that stone at that person, look inward. Am I a gold digger? Am I a gold digger? How many people do you follow in church, in your society because of what they have? How many people do you see yourself as a bad person doing that? Watch inward. Check yourself. Be accountable to yourself every day, every minute, every second. At this juncture, I'm going to end because I want to see what you people have in the comment section. You can draw my mind to places that my mind did not go to. Leave it there in the comment section. And for others, like, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Baby girl is here for you. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like and share so that this channel will go to the permanent site. I'm happy to have you. I hope you're happy to have me too. Bye.